All right. So <laughs> next we're going to move on to uh, a audio book sample from the award-winning author Gabrielle Chana. Oh, wow. She, Winner of the, the prestigious DP seal of approval. Yes. She, uh, we, on the last episode, we played an excerpt from... What uh? What was her book? Uh, uh, Jesus, Jesus, the Eternal Bridegroom. Yes, Jesus, the Eternal Bridegroom. This time we're gonna play one from uh, Emerald Towers, which is a book she wrote fifteen years ago. Wow. I wonder if there's more or less penises in it. This is an audio book sample, and by the way, everybody, it's available on Audible.com. So you can go to AudibleTrial.com forward slash Drunken Peasants. Wow. And Listen get, to Gail's story. Yes. Get Gail's book for free. Here's a five-minute clip. For free. He crunched a fist. His eyes surged on. They shadowed and unsettled. Whenever I dreamed of intimacy, it was you. Always you. You. Over his face flickered a twitch. She tried to seduce a friend of mine. I still kept her. His shoulders slumped and his face limped. She insisted on attending public events with me. I played her game. If I wanted to help you with money, she threatened to tell your husband that we had sex. I couldn't let your husband know about us because then I wouldn't be able to check on you. Mm -hmm. I was horrified what she'd do to you if I couldn't keep you. She could have said we had sex anyway, no matter what you did. I told her if she did that and your husband dumped you, I'd marry you, but I couldn't give you the money you needed. So this is uh, told from Brent Spiner. Or I, I think she said it's told from Brent Spiner's perspective. I see, it looks like him on the cover there. Yeah. yeah. Looking I know at, they bankrupted you. Is that you supposed God to be her? No. Yeah, that's her and Brent that's, Spiner. That's her, yeah, it's Brent Spiner and Gail. Knows I wanted to help, but it would make you look like my whore. He chuckled. <laughs> it but, would have been a mess. I mean, your husband. But after my husband left, you should have helped me more. She told me she'd tell your husband that I caused all the damage your family received. You know? If I didn't keep her. In an age where uh, Twilight became a movie and Fifty Shades of Grey became a movie, it's a shame that this hasn't become a movie. Yeah, Brent Spiner can even play himself, dude. Who would play Gale? Gail, of course. You think Gail should just play herself? Yeah. Well, well apparently their romance started quite a while ago, so at least at the beginning of the movie, they should have younger actors playing. No. No, it's more authentic for them to play themselves. Just, just get them, put them, get them, put them in some makeup, you know. Yeah, they'll be fine. Get them in makeup; they'll be fine. I'm pretty sure Gail said that they made a movie based on one of her books, and Matthew McConaughey played the role of Brent Spiner. Which he ended up falling in love with Gale, too. Oh, yeah. Because he just couldn't resist. But then the Jesuits destroyed the movie, right? Yeah, and she was given an Oscar, but all of that was covered up yeah, by the Jesuits. Yeah, oh, obviously. Yeah. They're very powerful. She'd Yet harm somehow they you. can't suppress her YouTube channel. I played channel. her game, but she double-crossed me. She still harmed you. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. A quiver I'm staggered sorry. over his mouth. The photos you saw in the papers, on the internet, they were frauds. She changed our expressions. She pasted heads on bodies. It was all fake. Mm -hmm. A fog lifted from me, but a monster towered over my body, and oh. the ceiling glowered. Glowered? Oh, my God. God. This woman, whose eyes lacked astuteness, schemed labyrinths. This adolescent, this peacock at a prom. Hadn't I nine years ago invited him to expose corruption of a church? Did their labyrinth ferret me out and then weasel like snakes to crush me? I plunged into darkness. When I'd researched for my book, I discovered evidence that with presidents and There was a lot less penises 15 years ago. Apparently, yeah. at least so far. Yeah, like, so far, there hasn't been one dick. I'm surprised. This is, I think this is the longest I've ever heard Gail talk without mentioning penises. A church conspired. And like Machiavelli, these hucksters retreated before nothing 
to wield a path to dictatorship mm -hmm. behind the scenes. They financed and supported Adolf Hitler and his uh -huh. war machine. These yep. creeps, these butchers, corrupted doctors, lawyers, police departments, schools, employers, preachers, and the world to crush me. They knew I could influence my friend who hovered over me and who might sway the masses against them. My friend, a sitting duck, had fallen into their contrivances. Publicity, bad press obsessed them. She'd peacock as a girlfriend, but struggle as a publicist I have a question for them. Too. A the last time we played one of Gail's things, it was literally like her her Satan character was like, I'm the devil. Hee 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 hee. Yeah. In this one, she's all like using, you know, way more polysyllabic words and just like more like colorful language and shit. I mean, it's still bad and purple as fuck, but it's better than like, I'm the devil. Hee hee hee. I fuck you in the devil. ass now. Ha ha. Guardian at the gate to avert any bad press this church could sustain from the scandal. A publicist, a distractor, to veil the real enemy, the richest church in the world. They commissioned that woman who strong-armed her way into my friend's life to break us up. Why couldn't I understand? Rocks had blinded me to the truth that he loved me like the sun, that he kept her for me. Me! My me. eyes became rivers, tears Kills came, oh, tears top. came. All those years he needed my warmth. Oh, the coldness I tumbled to him, and I banished him from my dreams. He suffered a You're truce with her for me. I asked you to expose that church nine years ago, remember? You're famous, and I know too much, and she doesn't seem smart enough to scheme these brilliant plots. You see, that's why when you cage her, I'm still harassed. She's talking about Lori because McBride, you right? can't. Exactly. Yes. Her enemy. Lori McBride. She, she blames a lot of shit on I'm her. I'm almost surprised that Zack Knight is her villain. You would think it'd be Lori McBride would just be like the head of it all. You see like Brent Spiner, there's like something like some sort of light emanating from his forehead. Yeah. Like he's, you know, he's having a psychic, what, what, what was it, telepathic sex with Gale? He is, dude. He's, yep. he's fucking having sex with Gale right yep. now. He's like, <laughs> Gale was not quite as insane back then, though. Yeah. But it's, it's not as entertaining. Cage, the one who directs dicks. her. That church. That church. And black people they shitting think in people's that because of stuff. me, you'll give them bad press. That's why they hired a publicist to be your girlfriend. His features paled. My God. Please forgive me. I had no idea my what you've God. gone through. Brent Spiner's like, my God. I can just sit, see Brent Spiner sitting there. <laughs> my God. Why, Gail? Why? Why? Why has this happened? So I guess that's it. Yeah, that is very strange. Like, I, I like Gail's newer work a lot better. Yeah, this is boring. Yeah, this is just Don't boring. buy this one. Buy Jesus the Eternal Bridegroom. It's funny. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. There's yeah, like this one, not so much. She's just like... She's done, like, she starts talking about, like, dicks and Satan jizzing lava on people and shit. This is just like, oh, Brent Spiner, he's so cute. He's my boyfriend, but no one knows because he has Not to. even him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> the real Brent Spiner knows. <clears throat> but, of course, you know, he's uh, being suppressed by Laurie McBride, that controlling well, Obviously, bitch. come on.